And to directly answer your question, yes, uh, I felt some of that gravel, uh, but uh, I, I, am, I am staying focused not on me on this, but on how we make sure that everyone who isn't surrounded by security guards and uh, well-wishers who have my back, everyone who is walking into a hospital on their own for a late night shift, who's worried about some anti-vaxxer that might come scream at them and try and rip off their mask. Those are the people that I think about. Those are the people I want to defend from being tossed gravel at, from being spat on, from having someone tug at their mask or just make them feel terrible as they're going in for an 18-hour shift to save the lives of people who themselves chose not to get vaccinated. Can you take us through your account of what happened as you left the whistle stop yesterday in London, Ontario? Did you feel the gravel being thrown at you by protesters? And do you consider this an act of assault? Let me be very clear and state the obvious first and foremost. It is absolutely unacceptable that people be throwing things and endangering others at a political rally. There were volunteers and supporters. There are uh, police officers there to keep everyone safe. There were journalists such as yourselves doing a really important job informing Canadians of what's going on in this election and some of the tensions that are out there. Nobody should be doing their jobs under the threat or uh, or, or uh, under the threats of violence or acts that put them in danger. That's absolutely unacceptable. But it's not just at political rallies that this is happening. There are healthcare workers across the country who are getting hassled and intimidated and bullied as they're going into work to keep people safe and alive. There are store clerks and waitresses and people going out there around their daily lives getting yelled at and pushed around for wearing masks for being vaccinated that's not how we do things in canada and quite frankly as i continue to campaign i am inspired by those people who continue to do the right thing in the face of anti-vaxxer mobs who are not respecting the basic science and the basic decency that Canadians have rightly come to expect from each other. Mr. O'Toole, you spent more time in this room on the selection campaign than anywhere else in the country, and you've been insulated from the kind of scenes that we saw confront the Liberal campaign last night in London. But when you do go out, we don't see those uh, uh, kinds of scenes at your campaign. What is it you think about Mr. Trudeau that attracts that kind of anger now even violence, people throwing gravel at him, that you don't. Well, let me repeat what I've said. It's completely unacceptable to see harassment of political figures, of media. We live in a great democracy, and let's act like we do. We can debate our ideas. I don't agree with the fact we're even having an election. I don't agree with Mr. Trudeau's approach on many things, but I respect his ability to be able to communicate with Canadians free of harassment, intimidation, and violence, and for our media to report on that. And we should remember the country we are, which is a great democracy, that we need to have an election that reflects that. We're trying to run in a pandemic election as safe uh, of a campaign as possible. That's why we use our studio to talk about our recovery plan in person, in the studio, every day in a way that's safe and positive. I want to ask you first off, uh, what you thought of the protests yesterday with Liberal leader Justin Trudeau and gravel getting thrown at him in London as he was getting back on the bus. Does this speak to the state of where we're at in this election? And uh, what do you want to say to those protesters? I think there are, first of all, what happened is horrible. That should never have happened. And I, I'm worried about Mr. Trudeau, his, his family that may be on the bus, uh, the media, the volunteers, his team. That should never happen. It is absolutely wrong. And, and I want to highlight there are a handful, uh, a small percentage of, of very troubled people that are uh, violently attacking people just for, for their views. Like, I disagree with Mr. Trudeau all the time, but it is absolutely wrong to be throwing stones. I mean, I can't imagine that I'm saying this in 2021 
don't throw stones at people because you disagree with them. That is basic. That should not be happening. But these are some clearly troubled people who think it's okay to throw stones at someone. But they have to be taken seriously. So we got to make sure we're doing everything we can to keep our team safe. We've got to assess the security before we do an event. Uh, sadly, because of people like this who are causing a real threat to the media that comes with us on the tour, to our, our volunteers, to our staff, to our team, uh, this cannot happen. And we've got to be very careful that we don't allow uh, us to be in a situation where this happens again.